10 deleted scenes you miss in the Pixar's Luca movie part 2. Luca, just saying the name already brings a smile to your face because of how fun, happy, and passionate this great movie is. The movie that makes you feel good and calm when you watch it. Seeing Luca and Alberto having fun in that warm summer along the coastal town of Puerto Rosa. But it also makes you feel a little sad because it makes you want to go to the Italian Riviera and enjoy that same summer that these two amazing teenagers had. A summer full of great experiences, memories, and adventures that will live on to the next movie and they will always remember. See, what Luca has done is set a new precedent for the new upcoming animated movies, not only for Pixar, but in general. Pixar's Luca has been such a game changer because of its amazing design. The graphics are so sharp, beautiful, and realistic, but still animated at the same time. An animation that shocks everyone that watches it for the first time. The stunning colors of the different parts of the Riviera, the coast, the water, the starry and summery night. The storyline is well written and produced, a story with layers above layers above layers, with every single one having a different moral. The value of friendship, the value of family, the value of loyalty, and so many other values that make you like the movie even more. Overall, Luca is an absolutely remarkable movie that makes you enjoy every second of it because of how cool, warm, and fun the tone is. Pixar's Luca begins telling us the story of a boy called Luca. Luca is not a normal teenager. He's a sea fish who has a special trait that he still doesn't know. Throughout the movie, he meets Alberto, another teenager who shows him the special trait. See, when Luca gets out of the water, he instantly transforms into a human, and from this scene onwards, Luca will try to merge these two worlds together while exploring the new world going into the town of Puerto Rosso to find a Vespa. But these scenes that we see in Pixar's Luca are not everything there is of the movie. In reality, there are so many deleted scenes that we haven't seen that were supposed to be in the movie at first, but didn't end up making it because of different reasons that the director Enrico Casarosa didn't find feasible. Like the scene not fitting well with the movie's plot, or the scene having nothing to do with the plot. If you remember, I already made a video about the deleted scenes you missed in Pixar's Luca. Well, there are still many deleted scenes that you didn't see, so without further ado, let's get straight into the 10 deleted scenes you missed in the Pixar's Luca movie, part 2. Let's go! One of the deleted scenes that was going to be initially included in the movie was called Fiesta del Mare. In this scene, there wasn't going to be the duo that we see in the final movie made up of Luca and Alberto, no. There was going to be a third character called Chichio. So the scene starts with the three guys arriving in the town of Puerto Rosso right in the middle of a party. They're looking at everybody having fun when suddenly a guy throws a water balloon close to Luca. It splashes on him and his arm is revealed as a sea fish. They all start playing with the water balloons in front of the three guys. So Luca starts getting scared and tells the other guys to leave because there's not a Vespa in the town and they should get out of the town as soon as possible before they get discovered. But Alberto, being the outgoing kid that he is, stops Luca from going back to the water and tells him to keep going into the town. So the guys keep walking deep into the town while music is playing and people are having fun, but they quickly see something that catches their attention. Ice cream or gelato. The woman tells them to pay for the gelato and sticks her hand out and Chicho slaps her hand. <laughs> He's a sea fish straight out of the water. What do you expect, guys? They're confused over this thing called money when all of a sudden the one and only Julia makes her first appearance in this version of the movie. She comes in and starts asking them questions that they can't answer, like where are they from and how don't they know what money is. So Alberto saves the moment one more time, he tells her that they're from Milano and that they have come to visit the city of Puerto Rosso because it's beautiful. It works and Julia proceeds to buy a gelato for herself. Chichi is drooling all over the counter and wishes he could taste one so much, so she buys each of them one gelato. This is how they first meet Julia in this version of Pixar's Luca. Chichi is absolutely loving this gelato and wants more, so Julia tells tells them that the city has more to offer than gelato, and here Julia takes the three guys, Luca, Alberto, and Chichio, for a tour around the city of Puerto Rosso. She takes them to the amusement park to have a little bit of fun, she dances with them, she takes them to the coffee shop to taste some good Italian coffee for the first time. Chichio loves coffee as well and doesn't stop drinking it, which makes him super hyperactive. He eats some pasta from a couple's table, they go to the movies, and here we can see a small secret. In the movies, they're watching the Pixar short film La Luna, directed by the same director Enrico Casarosa of Luca. She shows them a camera and takes some pictures of them, and overall, they have a fun time in that period. But in the words of Enrico Casarosa, there were two main problems with this deleted scene. First, Chichio was stealing away from the main friendship between Luca and Alberto, so adding another boy wasn't gonna make sense and was gonna make the movie a lot worse. So adding another boy wasn't gonna make the movie better, on the contrary, it was gonna tarnish some elements of Luca and Alberto's friendship. And secondly, this version was too complex. Enrico wanted something simple and funny at the same time like we end up seeing in the final movie. This plot was too complicated from the beginning, and I agree with him, so he deleted it. 
The scene of Fiesta del Mare has two parts that were both going to be in the movie, but in the end, the two were scrapped. In the second part of Fiesta del Mare, the three guys witness a parade in the town of Puerto Rosso. During the parade, the three guys see a man on top of a boat, and they ask Julia who the guy is. She tells them that he's the most famous and successful sea fish hunter of all of Puerto Rosso, and that there were legends of sea creatures and krakens in the water near Puerto Rosso, and he captured all of them. Obviously, Luke and his friends being sea fishes, they start getting scared and nervous next to Julia. She then tells them that one of the krakens was finally able to take him down, and when she says this, Alberto says, yeah, good for taking down that human. <laughs> then she tells them that they're not from Milano because nobody from Milano dresses like them. They must be from Isola del Mare. They follow what she says and say that they are from Isola del Mare. So she takes them to her dad, whom she says is in love with Isola del Mare. Here in the scene, we have a similar one to the scene we see in the final movie when Julia introduces the guys to her dad. But here, instead of being in the house, she introduces them in her dad's fishing boat. When the guys first enter the boat, they see her dad cutting some fishes, which scares them off, obviously, and makes them nervous around Julia. Alberto and Luca start debating that it was a bad idea to get into the boat and follow Julia. She introduces them to her dad, and the dad starts asking the guys questions about Isola del Mare. Then Julia and her dad talk to the guys about the sighting of some sea monsters around their area, and that when the time comes, they will fish all of them like Filippo Dragone, the legendary guy who catched all the Krakens before. The dad tells them about a new sonar that will detect every sea fish around the area and tell them exactly where they are and where they live. Then he will fish the biggest sea monster in the town and become super famous like Filippo. This obviously scares the guys off, and they start thinking of a way to get out of the boat. They tell Julia that they have to do things and they need to go home. They say goodbye to Julia and her dad, and they leave never to come back. <laughs> but we all know that Julia was sure gonna follow them after this. We all know Julia. Again, this scene was scrapped for the same reasons that I told you guys before. Too complicated, in the opinion of Enrico Casarosa. The final movie looks simple, but beautifully made at the same time. Bringing in a story like this was only gonna confuse and complicate things for the viewers, which is exactly what Enrico Casarosa didn't want to happen. So he deleted the scene for the scene when they meet Julia in the fountain when Ercole Visconti is about to drown Luca. Easy, simple, and fun. Just like it should be. This one was way too convoluted. The next deleted scene in Pixar's Luca that wasn't as complicated as the previous one but still had some imperfections that didn't really convince the director Enrico Casarosa is called Gelato Trouble. Do you remember when Alberto teaches Luca how to say what's wrong with you stupido in the final version of the movie? Funny scene, yeah. Well, in this scene, Alberto has taught this sentence to Luca and they will get into trouble for saying it so much. Julia goes to grab some gelatos and she tells them to wait for her outside. They're chilling outside waiting for Julia to come out when suddenly they see the two elderly women that were undercover sea fishes in the town of Puerto Rico. They look at them, they look back, and they keep staring at each other for some awkward five seconds until Luca says the only thing Alberto has taught him in Italian. What's wrong with you, stupido? The women get mad, and Alberto being Alberto in his natural state responds back saying the same thing and adding more intensity to the situation. Meanwhile, Julia is trying every gelato inside the ice cream shop to know which one to give Luca and Alberto. If we look in the back, we can see the women hitting Luca and Alberto with their bags. They get super angry and tell the guys to never talk to them like that. They need to be respected. But Luca only knowing one sentence says it again and again and again, making them more angry. Now there are people gathering to calm the situation down, and even the police get involved. Remember, all of this happens while buying ice cream, okay? The officer asks the guy where they're from, and not having any answer from the officer, they run away and leave Julia alone choosing the ice cream inside the shop. When Julia turns around, they're already gone. Poor Julia. Now, the main reason why Enrico Casarosa didn't want the scene to be in the main movie is because he was given too much attention to characters who weren't even that important in the plot. See, in a short movie like Luca, you have to take advantage of every second to make it count. So for a scene to be completely dedicated to these women that are not even important in the movie makes no sense whatsoever. So when Rico Casarosa decided to make it simple and deleted the scene. The next and last deleted scene that Enrico Casarosa looks back at and doesn't like one bit, these are his words verbatim, is called Monster Cannery. In this scene, the guys are actually mechanics for the Vespa company they love so much. The guy is showing them all the great things available in the Vespa factory, amazing Vespas, coffee, gelato, and a camera to take pictures with. The guy then zips himself down, and it's actually Julia talking to them. She shows him the best place for him, the place where they take the monsters and can them as cat food for the cats that look at them from above. She then grabs a hose, wits him with it, he turns into a sea monster, and suddenly he's laying on a machine that has taken him into a pot full of hot boiling sea fishes. He screams for his mom and his dad who are looking at him from above, but they don't help him. Everything seems so anguishing and sad. He drowns into the pot, and then he wakes up. Yeah, <laughs> it was all a dream in this deleted scene. In Enrico Casarosa's words, this scene was gonna represent all the wishes and fears of Luca in the human world. But also in Enrico's world, this scene was too anguishing and nerve-wracking for the viewer. Also, it didn't add nothing to the story. If you 
you look back on it now, you can see that it didn't really fit well into the final version of the movie. That's why Enrico decided to leave it behind and replace it with the scene where Luca and Alberto are in the treehouse having fun. And well, that's all the dose of DJ there is for today, my guys. I really hope you liked this video and liked all of this amazing deleted scenes you missed in the Luca movie. If you liked it, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe, and I will catch you on the next one, my guys. Peace!